Hello everyone, I'm Dong Eun Han from Seoul National University, Korea. Today I will talk about my paper, Fight Normal Cone Merging for Efficient Collision Detection of Thin Deformable Object. This paper proposed a simple method that constructs tighter normal cone than previous method. With this tighter normal cone, we can obtain the more efficient cone performance in collision detection. For finding collision with continuous time, we have to check all pair of triangles. For each triangle pair test, 15 elementary tests are needed, 6 vertex triangle tests, and 9 edge edge tests. And then for each elementary test, we solve the cubic equation to get coplanar time. So checking all triangle pairs takes non wiggly wiggle amount of computation. So the several methods for calling unnecessary checks have been proposed. Normal cone based calling is one of them. It is simple and effective, so it has been used as industry standard until now. Polino and Salman pointed out that if the triangles normal point in similar direction, there cannot occur self-collision. And more systematically, Robot proposed the use of normal cone with bounding volume hierarchy. The spread angle of the normal cone is smaller than the half pi. There is no collision within included triangles. To construct normal cone hierarchy, in the context of GCD, the leaf node has single vector, and in the context of CCD, leaf node has normal cone in consideration of time value. And for non-leaf node, we can get the normal cone by merging two normal cones from left and right children. So to make proper normal cone of node, the algorithm that merges two children's cone is important. Let's see the merging algorithm between two cones. The previous method proposed by Probot is quite simple. If there are two cones, first find the center vector of axis of two cones. It is the axis of measured cone. And then using angle between two axes and spread angles of two cones, calculate the spread angle of measured cone using this equation. So with this axis and spread angle, you can get the result cone like this. Compare between result cone and two children, you can see there is unnecessary space in the new cone. To see more clearly, let's imagine cross section spanned by axis of two cones in polar coordinate system. The result of projecting 3D normal cone to the cross section can be expressed as range of angle. The angle from pi 1 1 to pi 1 2 is the one cone, and from pi 2 1 to pi 2 2 is the other cone. And this equation is 2D version of Probos merging algorithm. The right image, the <coughs> Red arc is the result from Probot method. It can be cl clearly seen that the result from the Probot algorithm is unnecessarily large. So we propose new simple merging method by construct tighter cone which have no unnecessary space. In cross section, as I mentioned above, 3D cone can be expressed as range of angle. So, only using four angle, pi 1 1, pi 1 2, pi 2 1, pi 2 2, you can easily obtain the maximum and minimum values of, the, of these angles. 
and it is in new range of lizard cone. So we can get new spread angles and the center angle corresponding to the axis of lizard cone by calculating this equation. To convert 2D cross section to 3D cone, spread angle is same. And the axis can be calculated using spherical linear interpolation of axis of two cones. At the right image, the blue arc is lizard from proposed method. Compared to the red arc, the blue arc is smaller or equal in all cases. Let's see experiment lizard. We collect various statistics as we ran the clothing simulation with two ensembles and two one-piece presses with various pose and motion. Uh, there are some walking motion and take a pose like this. Let's see the reduction in spread angle of cone. We select our arbitrary node somewhere in the middle of hierarchy and plot the spread angle of normal cone of node while simulating the ensemble 2. Blue is from previous method and orange is from proposed method. We can see that the difference is conspicuous. In addition, we made an optimal bounding cone with the numbers of all triangles included in the node without considering the hierarchy. It is plotted in gray. It can be seen that the proposed method is much closer to the optimal than the previous method. Next, let's look at the reduction in number of triangle pair tests. According to the test, using the proposed method significantly reduced the number of tests compared to the previous method. The reduction rate is on average 25%. And the right graph is plus the number of tests as the simulation progress up to 500 frames. It shows that the reduction is quite consistent across the frame. The last statistic is reduction in time. We observed that the proposed method The construction of BVH takes slightly more time because it takes more computation when merging. But the remaining part of collision detection, including BVH traversal, takes significantly less time. So in total, the reduction of proposed method with respect to the previous method in time is on average 18%. Let's see the conclusion. In order to use normal cone based curling, we found that the merging algorithm used when constructing the normal cone hierarchy were unnecessary large results. So we proposed a simpler and a efficient merging algorithm. The proposed method always produces an equal or tighter than the previous method and through various analysis in time, in number of tests, and in spread angle of cone, it was shown that it is efficient to use proposed method in collision detection.
Thank you for listening to the presentation. If you have any question, please ask.